In this video, we'll go over some basic and advanced tips for the Roll20 chat. Now the chat is located in the right side of the screen. It's the icon with the two talking bubbles. Now speaking of which, the first trick I'll teach you is that if you double click this icon, your chat will pop out. This is perfect for rearranging your desktop the way you want to play. Now the Roll20 dice roller is great, but you can also roll directly in chat by typing in forward slash roll followed by the number and type of dice, and then including any modifiers. So if I wanted to roll two regular six-sided dice and add three, I type in forward slash roll space 2d6 plus three. Hit enter and we'll get our results. Oh, and if I was rolling just one die, I don't have to type in the number before the D. You can also string rolls together. Say you have a weapon that does 2d6 slashing damage, but it also does 2d8 poison damage. Simply type forward slash roll space 2d6 plus 2d8. Hit enter. All your dice will show up in chat and have a breakdown of each dice rolled. Another fun thing you can do in chat is whisper. You can whisper to anyone in game, including the GM. To do so, just type forward slash W. Then the name of the player you want to whisper to, followed by your message. To whisper to the GM, type in GM instead of the player's name. These messages are only seen by you and the person you are whispering to. You can also make a role that only you and the GM will see by typing in forward slash GM role, and then type in your role like we talked about earlier. Now sometimes you want to type out what action your character is doing or emoting. To emote, just type in forward slash EM, and then your action. It will show up in chat just as if your character is doing the action. If you want to make sure everyone in chat knows that it is you speaking and not your character saying something, you can easily make this distinction by typing forward slash OOC, out of character. This will show up that the message is coming directly from you, the person, and not your character. Another thing you can do in chat is easily link things from your compendium or outside sources. Whether you're linking a URL from a website or a link to a spot in your compendium, first copy the link by highlighting it, right clicking, and selecting copy link address. Now head back over to the chat, start a left bracket, type in whatever you want the link called. For our example, we'll call it Dragonborn. Close it with a right bracket, Type in a left parenthesis, paste in your link, close with right parenthesis, and hit enter. You and the rest of the players will see a clickable link in the chat. Now if this link is in your compendium, it will open right up. If it's an outside source, a pop-up will come up, asking if you want to open a new tab for this link. Now putting an image in the chat is very similar. Simply right-click on the image you want in chat whether it's in your compendium or from outside Roll20, and select Copy Image Address. Now in chat, type in left bracket, X, right bracket. Now don't worry about that X showing up in chat. It won't. Next type, left parentheses, paste that link that you copied. If your image link doesn't end in a .jpg or .png, add it to the end of the link like this. Then close parentheses and hit enter and your image will show up in chat. Okay, now if you're a GM, we have a couple extra features in chat just for you. You can speak as descriptions in chat by typing forward slash D-E-S-C and then the description of your setting. Let's say this room is dark and cold. Excellent. You can also speak as a random NPC or character that does not have a journal entry. Simply type forward slash A-S space start quotation marks Type in the name of the character or NPC, then close quotation marks, and then type what they say. Halt! Who goes there? Now, to emote as an NPC, just type in forward slash E-M-A-S space quotation marks, the name of the NPC you'll be speaking as, close quotation marks, and then type what the NPC emotes. Hit enter. Oop. Something bad's gonna happen. Now, if you're a pro subscriber, you have access to special effects. You can use already created ones or make your own. 
just type in forward slash FX and paste your special effect into the chat. We'll go over special effects in more detail in another video, but for now, check the link in the description for more details. And there you have it. Get out there and send some whispers, roll some dice, and cast some special effects.